In this video, I will show you how to whiten teeth with Capture One Pro. If you would like a copy of Capture One Pro, then please see the video description. Now, this handsome chap here has a great smile, but if we zoom in a little bit, then we can see that he does have a little yellowing on the teeth. It's not much, and I think we can easily sort this out. The first stage will be to mask the teeth. All we need to do is select the brush here. Then I'll press M so that I can view the mask while I'm painting. Right click to bring up the brush controls and set an appropriate size. Then bring down the hardness just a bit to about there. And so start to draw the mask over the teeth. Like so. I think I need a smaller brush. There we go. Mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit more. Don't worry if you go over the edges a little bit, it won't be noticed and we can always clean up later if we need to. I'm just going along tooth by tooth, painting over all of the white and yellow areas. I don't want to miss any of the white or yellow areas as they are the parts that we're going to whiten and then colour. It doesn't have to be super accurate, but reasonably accurate, really. You really get a feel for how accurate you need to be for masking. It comes with experience. Basically, I'm just trying to get as much of the white and yellow parts, well, all of the white and yellow parts, really, without bleeding too much into the gums or the tongue area. Though most of the time you don't have to be too careful about being too accurate when masking teeth for whitening as the, if you do bleed into the gums, it really isn't noticeable in the final effect. Okay, that's the top teeth done. So now let's just give ourselves a really small brush so we can have a go at the bottom teeth. There we go. A Little bit of bleed there, but not too bad. I found from doing my own color grading that the teeth are not always yellow to start with the person hasn't got yellow teeth but the grading itself turns the teeth yellow it's just a side effect sometimes okay we're nearly there last couple of teeth to mask in done now I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup by switching to the eraser brush by pressing E then I'll zoom right in and just go along the edge of the lip cleaning up best I can. I seem to be getting rid of a bit of white which I may have to put back. Switch back to brush again, press B, just to fill this little bit of white in here so we get all of it. I could probably use the refine mask function to help with this but I do prefer to get the mask to be as good as I can myself before I resort to such things. Back to the erase brush just to tidy up these edges just a little bit more going across the edges of the teeth like so and like I say the masking doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because the colour process that we're going to use is quite forgiving. I'll just try and trim this bleed off the top teeth like so and then I'll just make sure right on these edges that I don't have any white showing. I would rather have a little bit of bleed than white showing. Okay just a little bit of a, a white put away from this lip. Let's just take a look just to see if we have any excess bleed anywhere else in the image. There's some here. I just want to tidy up this little area before I carry on. I really just don't want any white at all showing. Okay, I think I'm about done. I'll just zoom out to take a look. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll just press M again to hide the mask. So now we have our teeth masked. We are ready to start the actual whitening process. For the first stage of this method, we will go over to the colour panel, then make sure our colour editor panel is active and make sure our advanced tab is selected. Then select the colour picker tool and we want to actually pick a 
yellow, then we need to make sure we've got the whole of the range selected like so. In fact, we'd be better off using this little icon here, which I actually will do. Here we go. And then just completely desaturate the teeth like so. Because for this method, I need the teeth to start out as all of the same hue or the same color. So we aren't having to deal with, well, separately deal with all of the different colors or ranges of color that the discoloration could have taken. Then the next stage is just to make sure we have the desaturation mainly on the teeth. So just make sure our range is okay. First, to make sure we've got, definitely got all of the yellowing of the teeth covered, just move this line around towards the greens. And that will make sure we've desaturated all of the yellows in the teeth. And then I'm just going to see if I can bring back this little bit of pink here that has turned dark gray. It may not need it, but we'll have a go. So just bring the line up slightly and then down to see if we can bring it back a bit. And there we are. It worked, but it's also bringing a little bit more yellowy orange back into the teeth. So I'm going to bring it back down and make the best of it. So about there will do. So if we zoom out and have a look, we can see that our teeth are all desaturated. They're all a single gray color, obviously not the right color. Now the next stage is to actually put color back into the teeth. To achieve this, we go to the color balance and we start with the shadows. In this case, I'd like the shadows just to have a little touch of red to match the ambient dark colors in the mouth and maybe then just lift it a little bit in lightness to even out the tone of the teeth. Lifting the shadow luminosity slightly will make them look more even in color. So the first thing we do is just a tiny little bit of red you may not think it makes a difference, but it really does. Small changes make a big difference. Then just lift the luminosity of the shadow slightly. About there's fine. Before and after, and before and after, you can see there's a slight difference in the shadow. Next, we move to the midtones. Now I'm going to make the midtones even more red, adding more red than I did to the shadows. Teeth seem to go from a dark magenta -y red to a light orangey yellow. The colour is very subtle but it is there. So here we go over to the midtones and drag the spot across to add I think around that much red just like so and then I'm also going to increase the luminosity or the brightness to again brighten them and even out the tone. As you can see, we're bringing the midtones up to the highlights. Now, if we take a look at the before and after, there we go, before and after, we can see we're starting to get colour back in the teeth. Now I've found in most cases you have to make the highlights an orangey colour and sometimes the midtones a little bit orangey too. So if we move this around to an orangey tone like so, and then move the little circle across to increase the intensity of the colour. And just a little adjustment, that'll do. And we're nearly there. Maybe just one more little slight adjustment on the intensity. I think that looks fine. And also I'm going to lighten the highlights to brighten the teeth just a little bit. And there we have it. Very, very nice, natural looking whitened teeth. Here's before we coloured it, that's the desaturated version, and then after. Now let's take a look at the whole process. So here's before, the teeth have got definite yellow parts around the edges. And then if I show you after, all of the yellow is gone. And we have a nice set of naturally coloured pearly whites. Now something that I like to do, which blends the effect more in with the original image, is to go to the layers, and if the effect is a little bit too much, just bring down the opacity just a tiny bit. Maybe that's too much, 
but I think about there is fine. And now we've got much more natural looking teeth. If I just do before and after, here we go. Before and after and before and after. And I think that is pretty natural looking teeth whitening. Okay, here's another example. This young lady has a very nice smile, but as you can see, her teeth are quite discolored. But I don't know whether that's from paint, which she's obviously been playing with, or from the effects of the color grading of the image. Either way, we can fix it. So the first thing to do, as usual, is to mask off the teeth, which in this case I will do in Speedy Vision. Okay, that's the teeth all masked in. And our first job, as usual, is to desaturate them. From the Colour Editor Advanced tab, select the colour picker and pick a nice orangey yellow. About here will do. Then maximise the range and down with the saturation. And as you can see, we've got everything selected apart from these little bits of red paint. So let's see if we can include these. Just go to our slice and move this line down into the reds until they disappear like so. And that's not bad at all. And we haven't really gone into the gums. I'm happy with that, so we'll stick with it and then go to our yellows and just move them around into the greens a bit more to make sure we've got all the yellow color on the teeth. There we go, that's a nice desaturation of the teeth. I think that's a really good base to start adding back some colour. OK, so next thing to do is head over to the colour balance and open it up like so. And starting with the shadows. Now I want the shadows to be a deep red, maybe even into the magenta a little bit. I'll move the slider down more into the magenta, it's subtle but it makes a big difference. And then I'll increase the saturation to get it to the right amount. I can just see the color coming into the bottom teeth. And this is okay because the dark red, which is coming into the bottom teeth here, is coming from her lip. It's basically a reflection of the red from her lip and her mouth reflecting on the teeth. Now for the mid-tones and do a similar thing, but this time not so magenta. And then bring the color in bit by bit. I think about there. That's looking really nice. And then the highlights. And as usual, the highlights are an orangey color. So into orange and then up the intensity or the saturation. Just down a tad more. This really is the trickiest part, getting this, getting the highlights on the teeth, the right shade. Okay, let's zoom out and take a look. I think that's not looking too bad at all. Now I just want to even out the luminance a bit, so into the shadows and lighten them just a bit, like so. And the same with the mid-tones. Raise the mid-tones just a bit. And then finally, lighten up the highlights to brighten the teeth. <clears throat> and there we go. As we can see, if we go and turn this layer off, we can check. There's the before and after. She's now got lovely natural white teeth. Actually, I think they are just a little bit monochromatic. So I think I'll just increase the colour in the mid-tone a little bit and in the highlights a tad. That's pretty good. Now they've got that slight pinky orange colour that they need to fit with the photo. And as a final step, I'm just going to bring down the layer opacity to bring the effect down just a tad. 
to make it more natural. I really like to make sure the whiteness of the teeth fits in with the original image. And I think that's pretty good. That's natural looking white teeth. Let's take a look before and after and before and after. That's not a bad job at all. I'll just show you a couple of before and after examples. The teeth on this bride are obviously discolored from grading rather than having orange teeth. But with a little work we get this and I think that made a big difference. Here we go before and after and before and after. And it even works on lions and if it works on lions then it works on pets. Before and after and before and after and that's how you do teeth whitening with Capture One Pro.